In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove the intake manifold on my 2011 Chevy Cruze 1.4 liter GM Turbo. Let's first start by removing the day negative battery. It should be a 10 millimeter. Remove your EVAP purge plug, squeeze the bottom, it'll pull right out. Remove the brake booster vacuum line, two little plugs on the side that'll pull out. Up here, same thing, pull the back, this plug will pop off. Now we're going to pull this and move this out of the way. Remove these two plugs here, electrical connectors. You just pull up on this tab and it'll pop. Pull up on tab and it'll pop off. On the left side there's going to be a metal metallic clip you'll see. You can use pliers to take that off. Uh, careful if your engine's hot. That clip will fall off, don't lose it. And then that plug will pull right out. Keep in mind how that clip comes off for reassembly. Use pliers to pull off this clip here, pull it back. This is going to wiggle up. This one's pretty hard to get off. Just don't crack nothing. Uh, remove your top uh, engine cover thing too. Might as well get that out of the way. Using a T30, you're going to remove the two screws holding your fuel rail on. There's one there. There's one there. T30. Pop your wire harness out of the way. Just kind of free it up a bit. There's a ground wire. It's a 10 millimeter on the fuel rail. Unscrew that, don't lose it. Keep an eye on that wire. Go along, slowly lift up your fuel injectors. The whole thing will pop out. Um, each of the electric current socket things have a little clip. Use pliers, pull these out, and now all the plugs should pull out freely. This plastic clip goes out of the way at the throttle body. Push down, it'll pop off. Uh, 9 30 second socket or a flathead. You can use that to loosen up your clamp down here. All right, we got six E10 bolts. Uh, the middle one, keep an eye on that 10 millimeter nut we took off on the fuel rail. Don't lose that wire. But those are just along the backside. Pull off your uh, throttle body intake. Uh, maneuver this thing back a bit. You got another vacuum line, this black line here. Uh, it's got a clamp on the bottom. You're gonna have to clamp that off. Squeeze that off. There's two clips holding onto the rear. Come on, focus. There's a clip here. You're gonna have to squeeze that out, and there's one right behind it for the wire harness. I'm gonna play with those till you get those disconnected. All right, I got the thing out. First clip's here. You have to squeeze the sides. And I'll pop out. Get another clip, clip lower. Squeeze it. Pop it out. You got this last one you want to do. Squeeze one side. Push the thing out. Um, you will also have taken off this vacuum line here. This do this is the first thing you're gonna want to do. Squeeze it. Now pop out. It's easiest to do it when you can move it around. Looking at the manifold itself. That's that first one. That's the gray one. That's the next one on the wire harness down here. And back here is where the hose was connected. Here was that vacuum, that rubber vacuum line with the metal clip. That's the first one you want to take off. Going a step further, use a five millimeter Allen wrench socket. You can remove your uh, throttle body. We now got the intake manifold off. Whatever you got to do to it, you can now do. If you're replacing it for whatever the reason, if you're porting it, it's removing these, which I'm not gonna do. I think that hurts the fuel economy a bit, but increases power. I just want my fuel economy. I am gonna be doing the aftermarket fix kit for the PCV system. I'm gonna have links in the description on this kit. There's also will be a link to the video of why this is being done and why this car suffers from a terribly designed PCV system. So I got it all maneuvered back in there. You're gonna torque your uh, six mounting bolts E10s to 15 foot pounds. So thank you for watching my video. Just watch the video in reverse on how to reinstall it. If there's any questions, leave a comment in the description below. Thank you.